We are having a live look at seaboard shaft. Something that is uh, long gone, but it used to sit beside Route 30, right in Greensburg. And surprisingly, the thing never had a railroad siding. The absence of a railroad siding indicates that it most likely supplied coal for uh, Greensburg. You know, they probably hauled coal right into town because it was sitting before, it was, it was there before Route 30 ever existed, but the buildings, some of the buildings are still there. Uh, I can remember when they were used by uh, Forest Hills Moving Company. Maybe they still are, I'm not sure. This photo came from Leroy Smeltzer and was shared with, uh, with me by his son, Glenn Smeltzer. Now, the Sanborn Fire Mapping Company has done this for us, and it shows what was there when the thing was in operation quite a few years ago, probably before, you know, around 1910 or so. At that time, the Keystone Coal and Coke Company operated it. And this shows six boilers, which were used to produce steam. And this was the actual mine shaft right here. The steam would have been used to uh, turn the winch, which would uh, power the elevators when it went up and down into the mine, bringing the coal in and out and the miners you know, in and out to uh, mine the place and uh, did the actual work there. This is a little map I did to kind of clarify things. This here shows Route 30, all right, Route 30. North is to the top. This is Stanton Street, where it goes across Route 30. This would be part of Southwest Greensburg over here. And this over here is Seaboard Shaft. And those buildings are still there. They're brick buildings. And you can see them from Route 30 when you go past. Now, this is Google Earth's view of what's there pretty much now, right now. This is Route 30. This is Stanton Street going across. This is uh, what used to be Seaboard Shaft, where they one time mined coal, and has recently been a moving company, they used that for storage. This over here is the Greensburg Concrete Block Company over here, just to kind of orient you to what's going on and what's there. We're back to uh, the beginning, showing seaboard shaft. This right here is the actual shaft. That's where there was pulleys on top and a cable going down in there that brought the elevators up and down that took the miners down in to dig the coal and then brought the coal and the miners back out when they were done digging. This over here was where all the boilers were. The boilers made the steam that uh, turned the engines that moved things around there. This over here was another building of the mine they may have been producing electricity in that building, or I'm not sure what. Uh, if anybody has any information on that, I'd be happy if they'd share it. Okay, so we're at about four minutes and so many seconds. And I think we're about to bring this to the end, and we'll say so long about these comments on Seaboard Shaft in Greensburg, Pennsylvania, which has not been here for quite a few years.